team was in it and we lost somehow. It was a tough loss, but life goes on. Anyway, like I said, what I want to do first this morning is walk you guys through why my watch list is so slim. If you're here and you watch my videos often, you can normally know to come here above my head and look at the watch list here to see which pairs have a red flag next to them as those are the pairs that I'm going to be watching for that day. As you can see, like I said, there's nothing flagged today. CAD JPY, swapping market sentiment line, that's the first thing we're looking at when we're building this watch list. What is the market sentiment line, this yellow line on the TDI? What is that doing from the changeover of day right here up to the point where we're trading it right here? As you can see, it goes from sell zone into buy zone, back into sell zone, now back up into the buy zone. That's the first thing I don't love about this. Second thing that I would say we would always be aware of and not love about this is that it is still in the Asian range. You can see the Asian range high and Asian range lower marked with these horizontal lines. It's still trading in that range. It's another turnoff, so definitely not making the list here. CHF JPY broke out of the Asian range and has a good bearish market sentiment line, but short term this morning, the 8 and 21 EMAs were crossed up and it's only been moving higher. Now, it could hold the 200 absolutely and come lower today based on market sentiment, based on previous price action from last week, based on the EMAs, that would make sense. But trading right now, while it's in an upshift, trying to short it, not my favorite thing. You guys know that. And also you're trading towards the 21 and the 50 EMAs. It could easily hold the 8 and 21 and continue higher too. So this isn't on the list as well, but it has a decent looking market sentiment line. Euro GBP swapping market sentiment. Again, if it's swapping, I don't want to trade it off the jump, especially on a Monday. I'd rather look for perfect market sentiment lines. So instantly, Euro GBP did not make the list. Euro CAD here, same thing, swapping market sentiment from the buy zone into the sell zone. That did not make the list. Euro USD looks very, very similar. As you can see, EMA is not really conducive to the direction price action is moving. It's just kind of like a pullback from Friday's move. Same thing here on EA, Euro AUD, market sentiment in the buy zone, swaps down into the sell zone, right? Euro NZD, same thing, buy zone into sell zone, coming back into the buy zone. Here on Euro JPY, we've got a little bit better of a setup. We'll put a flag on this one now as it's starting to hold this 50. It's still in a short-term upshift. You see how the 8 and 21 are still uh, shifted up. Eight is above the 21. That's a short-term upshift. Beyond that though, this is holding the 50. It's around the 50. Market sentiment is bearish. Price action from last week is bearish. EMA say sell. I like this setup over CHFJPY because you're closer to the 50 EMA on Euro JPY than you are on CHFJPY. You saw that? So that's why I think we can keep an eye on that to see if that'll come lower. Here on GBP AUD, looks just like Euro AUD. Broke out against the EMAs because the EMAs are in an uptrend from last week's movement. Market sentiment is also swapping, so nothing on that. Euro uh, GBP CAD, same exact setup. They look identical. It's crazy. GBP CHF is an inverse of that. Swapping market sentiment, but looks like it wants to come higher. So nothing there. GBP JPY, something we're always looking to trade. Swapping market sentiment, again, very choppy. Using Friday's lowest support, today's Asia highest support. It looks stuck. Looks just like it can't move. There's no clear trend. So we aren't doing anything with that. GBP USD market sentiment is swapping as well. Very sideways here, as you can see, slow in the Asian session, even slow in the London session for this pair. Just a slow start to the week on that. GBP NZD was something that James had a bias on. He was looking to potentially buy it here, stop loss here. It would have made him some money this morning. I can definitely understand the idea. I don't love how the market sentiment line is in the sell zone, but I still see the idea. So GBP NZD, we'll put a flag on it just because we know we had an idea there to go long here. But as far as actually trading it, it's a swapping market sentiment line and it's in the Asian range. So I'm glad. James didn't put a position on it, just read it as an idea. USDCHF, market sentiment is swapping, as you can see, going counter to the EMAs. It looks like it's moving higher, higher lows and higher highs, but the EMAs are short biased, so nothing on that, not making the watch list. USDJPY, swapping market sentiment, sell zone into the buy zone, back into the sell zone, coming back into the buy zone. Here, still very sideways from Friday's low as well. Looks like it's trapped between Friday's low and the Asia high. A lot of these pairs look very, very sideways. Now, if you look at Bitcoin, just to transition into the one idea that's in focus. We've been watching this hold the 50 EMA. Market sentiment is very bullish. We had a strong move yesterday, right? You're not coming off a close because crypto doesn't close. And your 8 and 21 EMAs just crossed up. On top of that, on the one minute, we've got bullish divergence here in white and here in white. So those two sets of bullish divergence make me think that if this market sentiment line holds the buy zone, I know this will continue higher. Even here, this is where we would look for a potential entry as that retests the 50 EMA with the market sentiment line in the buy zone right there. If you are in ASFX, you know that that's a D1 entry potentially as this shifts up. So now we're going to continue to probably see Bitcoin make a move towards 58,000 today. Maybe while we're on the stream, maybe this afternoon, you'll see it hit 58 and you'll say, all right, good thing Austin said that, you know. 
But that's the watch list this morning. That's why it's very slim. That's why we're only able to flag a couple of pairs. And that's why Bitcoin has had most of my focus. Any questions on that?